Factory Throats, number 59, Claro. Hey everybody, I'm okay, and this is Cigar Blog. Alright, so you're probably thinking if you've been watching my channel for any while now, didn't this guy already do the Factory Throats number 59? Technically, yes. Thing is, this is the Candela version, which means this is going to have a totally different flavor. And one of the things I noticed about these factory throwouts is there's a reason why they're called factory throwouts. <laughs> the uh, quality on these is kind of hit or miss. And when I say hit or miss, I mean uh, I've seen in a bundle different ring gauges. Some are rolled way tighter than others. Some of them are, you know, not quite as neat and tidy in the cap as this one is. Well, focus, thank you. So, yeah, there's a reason why these are kind of available for a song. And typically, if you're looking for a good solid every day, you really can't do much worse than the factory throw up. But, I kind of wasn't really thinking when I said that, and that kind of came out wrong. I mean, you can do a lot worse than the factory throw up, trust me. I think I might have overdone that light a little bit. Okay, so right away, the uh, overarching candela flavor is very noticeable right, right off the bat. Good lord. I think I might need a new cutter. I keep hitting a mouthful of tobacco. Blech. Excuse me. Anyway, uh, yeah, so far flavors, you get the kind of grassy kind of vegetal -ish green flavor off the uh, candela there right off the bat along with good coffee can in the background kind of an interesting mix anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get this down to the first inch and see how, uh, how everything shapes up Okie doke. Getting into a nice little one inch area. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> it's like 90 degrees out here and everything is hot and not exactly needing to cooperate with. Um, not looking like you spent all day at the gym. Well, anyway, nice little echo. So far, I've noticed that uh, if they get that kind of uh, standard. A little peppery, a little coffee-ish. Slightly earthy from the regular tobacco, but you end up getting the candela note, which adds this very unique, kind of like say veggie-ish, vegetal. It tastes great. <laughs> That's about as, you know the most succinct way you can put it up. There's also a nice little sweetness in the background. Now the retrohale, that is all wrapper all the time, so it has a very grassy, kind of matcha green tea, kind of, well, well vegetal note. I think probably the best way to describe it is kind of like a, a smokable green tea. And as you can see, there's kind of a reason why they call these factory throwouts. Now the factory that actually makes these is actually, if not mistaken, J.C. Newman. I, uh... Couldn't actually think of what other lines they produce without the drop of a hat, but point blank, it's a J.C. Newman cigar. So the fact that these are the throw th the fact that these are the throwout, uh, <laughs> kind of lets you know that everything else they put out should be of a higher quality. Because for throwouts, these actually aren't that bad. But you can see, you get occasionally little messed up wrappers, kind of like, kind of like it's been stretched in a few places, maybe had a square mark somewhere. Sometimes a cut isn't quite, if you take a look at this, I don't know how well that shows up, but sometimes where the actual leaf gets trimmed into shape, 
for whatever reason, it ends up being not a straight line, just kind of a little jagged. So, anything that doesn't fit a rather rigid quality standard ends up getting turned into a throwout. Well, anyway, I'm going to get this down to the halfway point and uh, see what wakes up. Kind of a quick little mini update. This isn't the halfway point yet, but the ash did just fall off. And that use, that's usually one of my monikers of uh, telling where the halfway point is. It's when the ash decides to, oh, I can't take it anymore. And well, this didn't do that. Now, I know that these are not mixed filler. At least I'm pretty sure they're not. They could be. Don't, 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 don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, typically, you can get a pretty decent amount of uh, long ash on these before they actually go. So I don't know if I just jostled this too much or if a nice gust of wind shot through that freaking tunnel. Uh, anyway, just a quick little update here. These may end up being a little on the ashy side. Okay, pretty solid halfway point here. So far, I've noticed it while I'm smoking it. This is one of the cigars that the flavors actually build. As in, the longer you smoke it, the more intense they get. So you get more of the wrapper, or not the wrapper, the binder and filler with this kind of, I want to say earthy coffee kind of deal. You also get that pepperiness and that very, very kind of slightly sweet kind of grassy matcha green tea kind of flavor from the wrapper. So definitely very interesting flavor profile. That's it. If you're going to pair this with a drink, matcha green tea, good choice. A more kind of a standard strength, uh, kind of earthy coffee to kind of complement the core flavor of the actual cigar. Alcoholic beverages is you'd want to go with like a lager beer or a very, very peat heavy scotch. If you were to pair this with like Jim Beam, if you've ever had a second cup of coffee immediately after brushing your teeth, it'd be kind of one of those cigars. It just, mm, it's just not gonna. That's just not a good mix. <laughs> so, uh, that's kind of the thing with Candela's. People either love them or hate them because of that unique flavor profile. The fact that they kind of only pair with very specific things. And even then, you know, it's like I'm not entirely sure that I would pair it with. I was like, this point, anything other than a boba. <laughs> Well, anyway, I'm gonna smoke this down to the nub and uh, see how this finish. See how this finishes. I got, I got like a brake lock on my tongue for some reason. Anyway, I'll get back to you at the nub. That's it, this makes for a pretty good point to wrap up. I do prefer I can figure out where to stand without getting a bigger full of wind. Okay, I think this is. I think it's okay right here. Anyway, flavors so far have been pretty consistent. They start off kind of light, but then they kind of build. And you get this kind of core flavor of a more traditional tobacco of just kind of your coffee, earthy, slightly peppery notes. It all ends up being wrapped up in this kind of uh, vegetal, grassy, very matcha green tea kind of thing. Not a good idea to stand in direct sunlight. Ugh. Yep, that's not quite as long. Alright. <laughs> anyway, once you get to this point, all the flavors kind of wash out and it just turns like every cigar into hot tobacco. Whew. Definitely pair this with green tea, good lager, or a very peaty scotch. It is, of course, provided you actually like Candela's. That's kind of the thing about these, they're kind of the hit or miss, because for some people, they taste sweet, grassy, very kind of country, in like a good way, you know, countryside. For some people, they taste like soap. Kind of like cilantro. So, as far as I love it or hate it, if you love them, definitely not a bad idea. Now, when it comes to the whole factory throwout thing, there's kind of a reason why these are cheap, and it's not because of the actual flavors or the quality of the tobacco, it's more the quality of the, of the construction. I've noticed that uh, throughout a bundle of these, the sizes can vary. Like you'll have one cigar that's fine, another cigar that's a little, a little oversized, not quite 
the standard for the, uh, I want to call this maybe a Corona size, maybe possibly, not quite a lens there, but about a Corona size. You'll find something that's a little thicker, but not quite thick enough to be the next gauge up. You'll find jagged cuts along the wrapper, and you'll find occasionally the head will get like really funky for whatever reason. The colors can be all over the board, especially in the Candelas, because if you sit around and acclimate for long enough, they end up getting some rather odd darker splotches for some reason. But as far as the actual quality and flavor, for the price, you can't beat them. So definitely check them out if you're looking for a good everyday. And that's pretty much any factory throw up. Well, anyway, the wind's not whistling into my mic like a, like a freaking banshee. I pretty, much don't much, uh, yeah, pretty much don't have much else to say about this. Other than uh, if you like this review, 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 like, subscribe, leave a comment. Also check out my Twitch streams, which is Sundays to Friday nights, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Almost at midnight. I don't know that's good. Anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.